Well, hello everybody and welcome to the Patricia Iris Cairns Show on the Gift of Healing TV. Uh, we are wishing you a very happy new year and welcome to this new year show. We're really delighted. We've got the wonderful David on from Samadhi Soundscapes and he's brought his fabulous drum, his hand pan along with him. So we're looking forward to having a really good time tonight. We hope you had a lovely new year and uh, that you've set all your resolutions. David and I have just been chatting. We've decided we're just going to be happy and really enjoy ourselves and do what we love. So before we go on at all, I'm going to introduce you to David. He's just sitting there ready to speak to you. Hi, David. How are you? I'm very well, Patricia. Thank you. Yes, Happy New Year to yourself and all your listeners and viewers. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you so much. Um, David, I'm just going to read out your bio now, the little bit that you gave us, um, and it tells us that you're a self-taught multi-instrumentalist. And I know you play many instruments, so that really is an achievement. And you make your own handpan drums. And having heard it, I've heard it at various events and things, it is a beautiful instrument, so I just love it. And you've spent the last two years researching the fundamental nature of singing theme. And that's enabled you to educate yourself in the act of building and playing this very rare and ethereal instrument. And that's the word I would go for there, David, is ethereal, because there's no doubt about it. It's just, uh, I remember you played it, and a lot of us were kind of meditating, and it just carried me away. I just thought it was divine. That was the word. Um, so, you've it's saying here that you were led then to participate in many events across the United Kingdom, and uh, you've been invited to, to share the wisdom of your drum uh, and the making thereof with so many people. And I know it generates a lot of interest. So, what I would like to know, though, is how the heck did you get into all of that? Tell us about it. That's a very good question, and <laughs> it's, it's a hard one to answer because it's a three-year, four-year journey, but I'll, I'll try and concise it down into something that's uh, uh, intelligible. So, a few years ago, I was in Barcelona, and I saw uh, this thing called a hang drum. Um, and I had never seen one before. It looked like a UFO or a barbecue or something I had never seen. And it gave off this amazing sound. And uh, when I came back to Scotland, this was in, that was in Barcelona, when I came back to Scotland, I started researching it and to see what it was because I've been a musician my whole life, ever since I was a wee boy. Um, my mum used to switch the Hoover on when I was wee and I'd be trying to sing along with the key of the Hoover, you know. <laughs> so I've always been, been involved with music. Yeah, even before I was sort of professional, and uh, this this sound of this drum really really affected me at the core level. So I had to find out what it was, and the more I researched into it, the more I realised it was almost impossible to get one. There was only two makers in the world. It was started off uh, in Switzerland um, by uh, two people in Bern in Switzerland, Felix Roner and Sabina Scherer, who developed it from the Trinidadian steel drums and basically put two hemispheres together yeah. and, uh, inside out and they put the notes in it. And it was actually one of their friends that, that uh, came up with the idea who played a, a gatum, which is a kind of clay pot, uh -huh. a big hole in the top of it and you hit it and it gives you a kind of resonant bass sound. And so the, I realised you can get one and I thought, Do you know what, I'm just going to try and make one myself. And do the research I could do. Most of the research I could do was through things like uh, patents that were filed by the companies that make them, because um, there's very little information on how to build it there. But about a year ago, it seemed to be the tipping point for the information, and there was quite a fair bit. You had to really scour to find it, but uh, there was quite a fair bit uh, out there that, that could lead you uh, to, to make it. And I started building it. I got it wrong so many times, so, so many times. But um, now I'm starting to produce, I'm only on my third prototype, but I'm starting to produce something that sounds a wee bit uh, resonant and nice and, and I, you, you have heard it, so you know. 
but you know, um, one thing you said to me when we were having a wee blether one day, um, you were telling me that you infused it with love yeah. and reiki as you were making it and sort of really imprinting it with that. Um, well, tell yeah. me about that because I know you've started reiki, so tell uh -huh. us then about that spiritual infusion coming in. Well, there's something, there's something really strange happens when you're... The process of making them in itself is, is fairly uh, interesting. You start off with a, a flat sheet of steel and then you mark it in uh, concentric circles so that you can keep track of it as you hit it with a hammer. So, so when it, it goes down into a hemisphere, you can see if uh, something is not quite right with it because the circles all stay in a circle, obviously, as you're in it down. So I decided to start writing little words in the wee parts of the circles or love happiness, health, you know, all the words I could think of that meant something nice to me. So it meant when I was when I was thinking the actual shell, I was going around and I was looking at these words again and again and again and again and again and again and again. And I really felt you, you get in a sort of meditative state when you're actually hammering. Because yeah. um, there's thousands and thousands and thousands of hammer blows uh, by hand to, to get the shape of it. And as you're doing it, each hammer blow, is, you've got to think about it. You can't just hit it randomly. So you do really need to concentrate, and you go into a wee meditative zone actually when you're when you're doing it, and it's like uh, it's like you're totally lost, okay? and then suddenly you look up and the clock is three hours. You've been <laughs> hammering for three hours, and you realise what's been happening. But after that, you you then put the, the notes in it as well, and the notes all have to be done the same way, uh, and it's just complete concentration the whole time. But it doesn't feel like concentration. You're you're actually really in the moment. I think of it like uh, it's amazing to create an instrument from just steel because suddenly there's, there's like we, I think of it as like a, a, a parent and, and giving birth to this instrument because yeah. you're making, you're making a, 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 a daddy side which has got the big thing on it and a female side which has got this part in it to show you. Uh -huh. Okay. And that's, a, that's the father side. Yeah. And then these wee things round the sides of them are all the wee baby notes. <laughs> and suddenly they start to sing when they get their own voice, you know. But let me just come in for a moment there, David. I don't think there's any accident there because right now, you know, divine feminine energy is really coming back in big time and, and people are balancing that up. So what you're saying is you have the balance of the male and the female in the drum. I definitely feel like that, yeah, yeah. I, I, I honestly do feel that when I've made it. And the oh. first point, when you, after you tune it, the first time that it's all in tune perfectly when you play it, it's a magical thing. Because you, you've given life to something that is that hasn't been there. You know, you've actually created something that's singing yeah. and it's got its own voice and its own wee characteristics to it. Well, that's amazing because you know, just listening to you, it's like heart work, isn't it? Yeah. it is loving what you're doing passionately, that focus, yeah. heart-mind focus rather than the mind-mind focus, you know. Yeah. Um, so right now, I think you'll have great people's appetite. They would love to hear uh, just some of that beautiful sound. So I'm going that's to a good idea. So let me just move myself about a wee bit. Yeah. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to invite people to close their eyes maybe and just take themselves on a lovely wee journey while you're doing this because it's so delightful. Well, well, let me just um, move the camera down a wee bit just so you can see it as well because it's yeah. in my face. Well, <laughs> it is like a flying saucer though, I do agree. It's like a barbecue, isn't it? But it's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it sounds slightly better, hopefully, anyway. <laughs> Thank you. 
Baby has a beautiful voice. That, that, made, that made me feel like dancing. I have to say. And you know, I'm really, it comes over even on these the small speakers on a computer really very it's well. Up to, to make it make it up because the, 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 the tones come off at all angles on it, you know. But you know, it, it really did pretty well. I was just going to say to you, um, I, I know that your main raison d'etre, if you like, with it is not to sell CDs and things. Was it really to fill a gap in the market then for people making them? Are you selling the drums? And and do you match them to people's vibrations? Are you, are you getting into that? What, what yeah, are you there, there's, there's a lot of avenues to go down. I really didn't know why I was doing it, to be honest with you. To, I, I was presented with the opportunity to mm -hmm. do it. And it's took me sort of two years to get um, a, like a workshop and all my tools together and all the sort of different things that you need. And although for myself personally, I just wanted a handpan and I wanted one that I could play because I loved them. And then once I realised that I could make them, I started doing different scales and people started getting a hold of me through Facebook and the website and stuff. And I've now. I've got. I've not got a waiting list as such, but um, it's an in, it's a, a list of interest. If you're interested in what I'm doing, I'll keep you updated on it. And it, at some point, I will uh, sell them. But yeah. it, it'll be next year, I'm sure, before because I still got a lot to learn. To, there's, there's so much to learn, uh, and I'm only I don't know 10 percent, 20 percent of the there in the process. So. So you haven't actually started producing them as yet. You're just getting to know the one you have and and working with it. And well, each each, each one you make is a different scale, obviously. So you you, you really need to relearn each instrument once you yep. build it, how to play it, and what what, what goes best, you know. Um, so uh, also, there's I would quite like to move into doing ones in the four three two uh, hertz, which I don't know if any of your viewers might know um, is a quite a sympathetic. Frequency wow. for the, the sort of the human body. Definitely psychic. I was just going to say to you, you're going to do them in four three two or four three two. It's actually F sharp. Yeah. Um, that's I, will, I will be doing them uh, in four three two and four forty, which is a sort of standard one because a lot of people like to to jam with other instruments. You know, they go well with sort of harps, didgeridoos, guitars, that yeah. kind of thing. Yes. Uh, so yes. people need them in in the sort of uh, the, the, the 440, the recognised sort of frequency, but for my own sake, and I know, that, I know there's a lot of people out there who would like to hear them at 432 because it's been suggested to me as well that they are quite a healing sort of sound and feel of them, you know, as well, and they could be used for that too. Um, well, yeah, ab often. absolutely. You know, I, um, well, I, I know that you and I are going to work quite a bit in the future, we've already started. But I, I feel that that in the background to a nice guided visualization, mm -hmm. or both of us just tuning in with the power of our intention to healing and, and uh, shifting energies and frequencies, all of that, you know, mm -hmm. you know that, that is uh, on the agenda, which mm -hmm. is just fabulous. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think the world is your oyster, and, and all music is healing, and I know you're out gigging. As a, I'm going to say an ordinary musician, and I don't context <laughs> because you're an extraordinary musician. Yeah. But I know that you are out gigging and playing uh, music, but it is just so healing. You know, you mentioned the dingy do there, and uh, we've got this uh, form, a, a guy I met down at the Stockport Fair. I don't know if you know Chris. I don't know. No, that's amazing. Well, he's coming on in a fortnight's time to, to tell us all about his didgeridoo and the healing. Um, maybe at some point in the future, in the next couple of months, I'll get you both on. Um, 
from different parts of the United Kingdom. That would be lovely. That would be uh, cool, yeah. That jam. How about that, David? That would be good fun. Good That's fun. something the ideal, yeah. yeah. So, anyway, um, I'm okay. I'm having a bit of a... Let, let's just try. Let, let, you know, this uh, TV is just for having a go at whatever we feel. Why don't we just do that? Just tune in with the power of our intention. And I'll, I'll lead just a nice little relaxation to help people relax, let go. Um, and you and I will just kind of tune in and um, everybody out there can close their eyes and you know, four or five minutes and that, that would be good. Do you think that would be nice? Yeah, that would be good. Yeah. Okay, okay, let's have a go. Right, have you got the drum there? Yes. <laughs> Lovely. So just closing your eyes and allowing, allowing the breath, the breath in to bring in all the new beginnings of the new year, all the newness. And then on the breath out, just letting go. Letting go of the old, all that no longer serves. Just allowing yourself to sink down and down. Down and down. Putting your roots down into Mother Earth. And at the same time, connecting to the divine from the crown of your head. Bringing yourself into core alignment, relaxing, and listening to this beautiful music. Listening to the voice of the drum. of the drum.
when you're ready, just opening your eyes and coming back. Feeling relaxed, letting go. Good. Everybody's back now, wide awake. I haven't heard you that that would sound like sound coming in there because I think it's in tune, but it might not be. <laughs> <laughs> you see. That can be the exciting bit. But well done, David. Thank you so much for doing that. Thank mm -hmm. you for taking time out. Uh, it's you know, my pleasure. It's, it's great to speak about music because it's, it's one of those things that's just it's fundamental to everybody. There's, n there's nobody in the world that is not moved by one piece of music or some sort of sound, you know. And there's, very little, there's very little things in the world that can affect people at a, at a fundamental level, at a core level. What music does. Art, I love art and I love poetry and all those sort of things, but very rarely do they get people up out of their chairs and flailing their arms about dancing. <laughs> I think it's amazing that I can be standing somewhere and 100 metres away, somebody will be dancing to what I'm playing. I'm affecting them, though I'm not, I have no contact with them, you know. And that's, that's music, it's vibrations, it's, it's, it's frequency, it's everything, you know. It, it gets to everyone, it's no matter. Black, white, male, female, tall, short, <laughs> bank manager or street sweeper, you know, it makes no difference. Oh, you're absolutely right. It is. It's the universal language, isn't it? And it makes our hearts sing. And, uh, well, you and I are, I've written that wee song. You'll remember we had a quiet day at the Glasgow Holistic Festival and I had just put a few words down and I got a wee tune and then I took it along to you and Colin at the studio. And before we know it, uh, guys and girls, we've got a major rock number coming. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's good though, it's good. I can't wait to get in and get it done. <laughs> well, we'll be finished it soon, David, but you know what, you've got a lovely family and uh, I, I know that uh, the children are going back to school tomorrow, which is a big deal. So Indeed. again, a huge thank you for taking time out and really wanting to spend time with them and get them all ready uh, for school. So, do you have any last little thing you would like to just say before we go? Yeah, I would just like to thank you uh, and Sarah Jane, who's working hard behind the scenes, just uh, for inviting me on to be your first guest of 2016. It's a, a great honour, so thank you very much. Thank you so much, uh, David. It's been an absolute joy. I really, really love that. And I know we'll, we'll be hearing you all kinds of things uh, in Scotland, certainly. And everybody would see your website there, but it is www.samadisoundscape.com. And uh, you can register your interest there. No drums just quite yet, but we're in the pipeline. More births are on the way. So uh, just before we go, we've just got a few minutes left, just to let you know that. Um, I'm working in the love business, um, spreading more and more love around this planet as much as we possibly can. And as David says, music is the answer to, to a lot of this. So we're getting together, we're collaborating. We're collaborating on that, and I think we'll probably be doing some meditation. So whatever we do will be available, certainly on my website, if not on his. And then he also sells things out at personal uh, gigs that he's doing and whatnot. Uh, but my website is www.patriciairiskerens.com. And my late, I had a birth thing as well at the beginning of this year. I brought out a new webinar and it's called Love Business. And actually it is all about business. You know, I've been in business so long, I've kind of found out along the way a lot of magical secrets to infuse into your business, just exactly as David infuses it all into his drum. Um, and I'm going to do this over three webinars, and I'm actually going to treat it like the chakras of business and how to get your business balanced, how to bring a real success. Now, of course, while we're working on this business of yours, we're also working on you. And um, we're going to bring so much more love into your life, really expand that and uh, bring balance. And it's male and female balance as well. So it will be about infusing your life and your business with love, power, 
which will be cues. Yeah, I'll be able to play this song once we've got it finished. Because it's called Love Power, and uh, I'm going to be able to use it like mad. It's going to be brilliant. Uh, and it's all about living your passion, which is exactly what David is exemplifying tonight for you. That's what he's doing. He does what lights up his life, and when you do that, it ignites uh, your business, your relationships, everything. It makes your heart sing. Uh, so that's what I'm up to. I'm also doing in February. I'm on for one day. I'm doing a workshop in Peebles, lovely Peebles, Pretty Souls. I've been under a lot of water this last week or so. Um, and I'm also doing a day in Dundee at uh, Phil Martin's uh, Energy Healing Centre there. So quite a lot going on workshop-wise. And then, of course, with the lovely Sally Claridge, Shira and Jo Beth Young, uh, we're doing the Power of Love workshop um, and that's end of April, beginning of May. So things are beginning to float in now, being asked to do various things, and not least going to France on Friday for a few days uh, because there is a beautiful sanctuary being uh, organized and built there. This is the most wonderful place. And um, I've just got a little bit of... Uh, esoteric work to do with them over there and then I, I believe I will be running retreats over there for folks. And that will be more with my Magdalenic type work and the channeling source that I do. Uh, so lot, well you can tell it's new year, all this new 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 stuff. Um, so what I'm going to do is just thank Sarah Jane. She very quietly sits in the background but she's there if you have to cry hell, you don't know what's happening. She is there and she responds very quickly and we've kept her fingers crossed tonight and nothing has happened. So what I'm going to just, we're at 8.29, David, have you got that drum to hand? Because I'm going to get you to play us out a little bit about that. Yeah. But thank you. Our little show would be nothing without you. So thank you so much for listening and uh, joining in with us. And if you've enjoyed it, please go on to thegiftoffeeling.com website and there are all the links for replaying or YouTube, whatever you want to do. Share it with friends and family. Here's David. Thank you.